Hello everybody, welcome back to Maxwell's Puzzling Adventure. This is now the 1.0 version of the game. I enjoyed the demo so much, I immediately went out and purchased it. So it didn't save my progress, so I'm going to go through World 1, solve the puzzles I already solved, and then we'll catch up in a moment. Alright, so that is puzzles 1 through 13, done once again. Now, if I want to go backwards, I can do this because I was curious about C over here. But what am I going to need to get that is a great question. Let's get that cursor off the screen. Uh, I can do this all the way along. How am I going to get to C itself? if I can't push past the hot one in the middle. All right, that's going to be a curiosity for another day, I suppose. There's D down there. I don't even know if I saw A and B, but let's jump into 14. All right, we've got more of these pieces that have edges that are variable. So if I put that there and there, this makes them neutral. Now that they're neutral, I don't think I can get any piece to that lower corner because I can't move this out from here. So maybe the challenge is doing that on the lower section without touching the area of the upper one. That's going to be tricky, isn't it? So, my hypothesis is that this red block stays red, except that can't be it. Oh no, it could be it. If this is red, and then we call down this one to push, how are we going to do that is the fantastic million dollar question, isn't it? Now also, there is all of this space, which is very curious, because hypothetically, if this didn't need to be here, they could have just cut the corner of the level off here. So, judging by the way the puzzle is designed, good, 15, oh, Dear. Okay, so this is just an exercise in awkwardly pushing stuff. How are we gonna move anything to where I need it to be? Okay, I think they need to swap sides, right? That's coming to there, and that's going up, and that's coming over. <laughs> what? One of them needs to go across, and the other one needs to go down, which is what they can do. But they need to do it in a way that doesn't end up with me being burnt. This feels like one of those ones where, like, the puzzle designer saw this and was like, ah, it's beautiful. Like, it's two simple pieces that do so much. If I do that, I can push that over. And what does that get me? The real question. Okay, okay. Except this is too high, because now I can't get around this. So, do we do down instead? Can I do down? It's like these hot auras on everything. Then I put that there, and move that over, loop around. Oh, God. 
I was, I was so ready to loop around and be done, but no, I can't cross behind here. We have to do like a staircase kind of thing. But I can't. <laughs> I was so ready to be done. And I was so mistaken about my capabilities. I kind of wish the backgrounds glo glowed with, like, the, the danger tiles. But they're not doing that, are they? So now, same problem. I can't go over the top edge to get off this line. That lets me push that up. So if I put that there, that lets me push that down. There you go. Uh, we need to do 16 to cool off this giant corner piece, I presume. Although I guess we could do this. Except those have walls of their own, so... That's interesting. Let's do 16 then. Oh my. Um... Three, but I'm a conduit. So that's too hot. How are we gonna make more of these intertwine? Because I can't push this down to touch multiple of them at once. You know? Well, I can move this with a different one, but not very far. There's this nook here for some reason. Unsure what for. Uh, what are we going to do with this? Fantastic question. So. I can actually use my mouse cursor for once in my life to explain puzzle things, which is nice. It's all right-hand edges, which is curious. And there's two and two and two for three. Three call, like, Three hot, two and two and two for cold. But I can't figure out how to make them align in unison, you know? Like, if I could do... Like, this can move that up. But I can't move it into a spot where two separate cold pieces exist at once. Because of the way the long piece... ...is on the left. So I can't move that to the side. Okay, here's a question. Can I move this long piece all the way to the right-hand side, effectively using this piece and this piece against the left-hand side? Can we do that dance? I don't know how I would. I 
don't know what I can do to move the L brick. Moving the L brick at all would be massively helpful. So. I put a long piece at the top. Problem with this is I now can't move it downwards. I really, I really don't know. I hope if I can't solve this, I'm not suddenly stuck being able to make any progress in the overworld whatsoever. I love it when there's like a little bit of wiggle room to like go to a puzzle. Um, backspace? Yeah, backspace. Oh! So that was world one. We've got one, 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 two, one, three, one, four. Is this all the levels if we want to backtrack? Is that what we're talking about here? Oh, it like teleports us through various spots. And then I can just pop out of a level anywhere I want to. So I can't make those cold right now. Does that change my ability to get to C if I bring some cold with me? If I make that neutral, and then make that cold, I can make that cold, which makes... Oh, that refuses to be cold, but I can make... Oh, I can't... I can't make... How can I... How can I use this to not be hot anymore? Well, if I do that, I can't bring this down to make it cold again, I don't think. <laughs> I'm so happy these puzzles exist, even if right now I have no idea how to do them. So that takes us back to world one. So 116 is unlocked. I don't know how to get past this. It's like a gate. So I come in here, out here, that's back to 16. So presumably I have to reach 17 first, but I don't know if I know how, given that that just becomes hot when it passes by. So maybe I do have to do something else first. Unless I can come out of 12 and do something with that, but that doesn't look right, does it? Because I can't push it away from the wall. So what do I do here? <laughs> Plays the demo, has a great time, buys the game, gets stuck after four levels. And it says ones where this might not be that hard. It's just because my brain doesn't see it. It feels absurdly hard, you know? All right, let's do this, right? This, this piece exists. Which gets that... Okay, 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 okay. I can do that. So does that mean I can do this? That goes there. Except now I can't get behind that. So that can't go there. That comes down. That goes to the top edge? Question mark. Uh, 
How can I navigate these around one another? It must be, I think I'm, I think this is on the right track. What if we do the bottom edge instead of the top? Oh, because I'm not going to be able to push this down. So we do need them on that pair of lines. If we do, I can't do that one first. Now I can't retrieve that. Can I push it up? That doesn't feel right. <laughs> I put that there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That can come out. that can go up except that's not quite right is it oh thank goodness okay that was not so bad So that offers me four cold pieces with left-right walls. Presumably then, I can use that to do... No. Wait, what? Oh, I become the conduit to take these four hots and four colds and pair them off. doing that means I now can't get past to D. Huh. Okay. Curious. I don't have any other tools. I can't bring 12 out because 12 can't come off of that wall. So, what I can do with that knowledge is put that there and that there and stand there. That calls those off, so we can come down to 17. That's progress at the very least. So, we need to get the cold. Oh, gross. The walls are neutral. Huh? That's new. So, the outside edge can suck all the cold out of something, and presumably all the hot out of something as well. But this piece is obviously inverted the wrong way to finish the puzzle. But I can't touch this. Very clever. Very clever. Just to make sure we don't trap the piece into the wrong corner. 17, 18? Oh. Right, so I need to get the cold to that side. How do I get this piece? 
off of the bottom layer? It's a fantastic question. There feels like no feasible way to get this two piece off of the south wall. But that would be the type of challenge I need to assume. So oh wait, 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 wait. Here's the here's the dumb thing. Wait. What? I was about to say I can move the blue piece, right? But if I touch the wall and the blue piece, the blue piece also loses its heat. So maybe not. This is a this is a wild puzzle. It it feels like one like the uh, the previous one with the the L-shaped piece that was too hot to move downwards felt solvable. This doesn't feel solvable, which is going to be like all the more amazing when we do solve it hopefully. Can't, like, this is what we want to do, but it needs to still be cold. I just don't see what the trick can be. That we can just never get out of that corner, so that seems like a terrible plan. What is going on? Nothing in the overworld to suggest an idea. This is really, really strange. There's no way I can like push this from behind. And none of these have like this this corridor has thick walls to protect the cold as it enters. But none of the other tiles on the board have thick walls. So I don't understand how we move this at all. Like, is there some way we can make it cold again? There's no piece that I can preserve coldness within. I'm so baffled. What can we do? Like, there's not that many pieces to move. It's one that, like, you could tell a computer to just brute force every combination of left, left, up, right, down, left, and... Obviously, it would be hundreds of thousands, but it doesn't feel like an absurd number of possibilities, you know? Huh? Why did that work? Is it because... This one piece... Hold on. That one is not touching any of the walls. Right? Okay, we're onto something. If I do that now, we lose it. So I want to move the bottom one towards the right if I could.
Because these two can't ever leave their respective directions. Like this can't come off the top wall. And this can't come off the bottom wall. There's something here. Okay, so... Where do I put this one? And when do I put it wherever it's going? So obviously, there is nice and out of the way. to move this away while it's cold to kind of preserve like, oh I can do this there you go that preserves some cold doesn't it okay okay that's good now we have to kind of thread a needle here don't we so if these both come up That can get out of the way. Beautiful. Very clever. 19? What am I looking at? <laughs> Lots of hard edges. But the outside edge is soft. So this will zap my temperature away. So presumably, I need to do something... Um, oh, that one's pinned in as well. God, okay. That goes up there for a second. That can move up a bit. And then this needs to go there. That can put that in there for a second. Then if we bring that over. That works. 20. Oh, hello, sad face. So, the outside wall is neutral. There's no cold. These can all be moved. I need to get a brick to touch this. Is it going to be... The, the single piece. Is it going to be this piece? I had a single piece. I could push it over, but I couldn't... I could push it into that corner, and I couldn't push it up. So what piece am I trying to use to solve the puzzle? I don't understand why... These are all firm edges, but this is a soft edge. Okay, no, I do understand. So, I need to take this piece, which is too long, this guy. I need to put it in that section there, or that section there, and then get the red beam to touch it, and that will disperse the hot amongst all of the outer cold. I can then take this three piece, put it one, two, three, and push it up. So, there's the goal. Now, we have to execute on that goal. There 
I don't want to move anything over any further than I have to. Because if this... Um, if the red piece touches the left wall, I can never retrieve it. So maybe I should work it towards the right wall, because then I can retrieve it. Um, let's leave you there for a second. A minute ago, I did this just fine. And now I don't know what I did. So before the reset, I got this over to the left, so how do we do this? You can be ignored. So we start with that down twice. Then we can do that over, that over, that down. That gets to the right hand wall, which is good. That can then move that up and down as desired. Let's put that there for a second. And this can go... Presumably there is fine, but it feels like the right-hand side one is just more convenient. However... How do I get this big block out of the way? I don't know that I can right now. So, perhaps... I don't want to get the red one all the way to either wall yet. Because that removes my ability to push it left and right. So we did that goes to there, then that gets that available in a pinched sandwich. Does this come out? Okay, I think I'm seeing something good here. That goes up to there. No, 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 no. Well, for a start, I can't pass that over, so maybe it does have to go to the far right wall. So, can't... Has to go all the way to one side, I think, the red bar. And that needs to be Oh, how have I screwed this up so much? I can't that can't be it. <laughs> that gets it to the right hand side, and there's nothing above it here which could be important. So that lets me move that up. If I move this out of the way, I now just need to get this over here. Okay, this is just in the way. Can I get it out of the way? Not like that, I can't, because... Ah. Okay, that goes to there. That goes to there. That comes up, and now it's stuck. Uh, 
Ah. <laughs> But if it exists on these three tiles, there's not enough room to move it upwards. So... How do I get... this off of this wall? Can I do... Can I do something really wild, like... Well, now I need... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need the left-hand piece off of this wall. Okay. Now, I'm uncertain that I actually want to do this, but here we are. That's definitely not what I want. I put that there and bring that over to here. I definitely cannot get to the side of that to push it to the left from here with this. So that's no good. We're so close. I wonder. If I put that there, right? If I put that there. No, no. I was about to say, I wonder if I could be a conduit for the temperature. I mean, no, there's no way for me if this is This piece is just really in my way, and I'm mad about it. Yeah, I can use me as a conduit, okay. So that is the first 20 levels. There's a bunch of other stuff. How do I get cold onto here to get that off. Like there's F and G down there. There's this singular hot piece. I need some cold to get past that. Right? There's no kind of open, cold spaces here. So if I come out to these guys. How did I do this the first time? Oh, well, 14 is different. So how do I have more cold touching 14? How did I do this the first time? A fantastic question. That, okay. So then that can come away. And I can bring 16 over. Except it loses its cold. Because this is an open wall on the top side. All right, then let's leave that 16 cold there and bring one of these. I can't bring one of these. Where's that 14? 14. Come back, 14. Ah, that takes the energy out of it immediately as well. 
If I do this. Oh god. <laughs> There's something here. There's something here. Is it going to be navigating this corner to get some cold down? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me that 14. Put that 14. There. Nineteen there. Eighteen there. Oh, then why aren't you cold? I'm the conduit, and I don't want to be the conduit. So I need to push multiple ones at the same time to prevent me being an accidental conduit to the ceiling. Amazing. The world of temperature, clear world one. Types of levels. Did you notice there are levels with numbers and with alphabets? Those with numbers are normal levels. They are placed on the regular route to clear worlds. Note that you don't have to solve all to clear worlds. Those with alphabets are extra levels. They are placed on the side routes. It may be challenging to reach extra levels. You should solve normal levels first because you may need them to reach extra levels. By the way, you can shortcut to the levels you have entered once. The shortcuts are placed on world zero. You can also go to the places where the original levels are located by exiting from the shortcuts. I figured that one out, so now we have World 2. How exciting. For now though, thank you very much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing and hitting that like button. If you have any questions, comments, recommendations, put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.